Well, hi there, folks. Welcome back to Marvel Heroes. This is your host, Jester. Hopefully, you watched our episode on Storm and her pros and cons, her items, her powers, and uh, our ranking of her. We gave her a 9.2 out of 10. 9.2 out of 10. And now we're going to show you how she plays. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Um, if you watched our episode, obviously we have the nice Storm Surge, and when that is related to her Tempest, we have two powers. The Arcing Tempest, and we have the Freezing Tempest, and we can activate one or the other. And the reason we have both is because um, we normally go with the Freezing Tempest for the Freeze. Uh, the problem is, when we're in raids with bosses, they are resistant to that, and even though it says irresistible, they are resistant to that, so um, there's no sense in activating that. So you want to make sure you have a point in one of the others as well. So we're going to go ahead and activate our Freezing Tempest, and we're going to show you that aura that we talked about last time here. And look at that nice, huge aura. So anything in that aura is just going to be taking damage um, and just blowing things up. As I mentioned last uh, episode, when we were... Uh, yesterday when we were doing the Midtown Patrol trying to get all of our Odin marks here I uh, couldn't find all of those hidden little um, aim bots that they make you go search out and so I switched over to Storm and used this power and basically just ran around the map blowing this stuff up until I found them and that's uh, obviously very good so our main power here is just this little lightning zap so you see I'm just activating our main power here and, uh, you know, it does okay damage, nothing great, um, but you, it does okay. You know, it's functional, and it's got some nice damage over time, uh, restores some spirit, so we don't have to, you know, we can use it a couple times to get some spirit back really quickly. Um, so let's look at our powers before we start moving through here. So we have this Sirico Rush, which is basically just her lunge forward power. So if we're in trouble... We use it defensively or offensively to get around the map. Uh, second thing is we have our Lightning Storm, which has a nice lingering effect, and it lasts five points, uh, area duration six seconds, sorry. And it makes enemies stun for 4.9 seconds and makes them vulnerable to damage. Next thing is we have this nice, huge Crashing Hail ranged area attack. It lasts for a whopping 13.8 seconds. And you can see, just anybody in that is going to be taking 28,000 damage per second. And you see how long it lasts, quite a while. So literally, now that that's done, I'm going to show you what you should be doing this storm is just covering the whole map with these powers. So anybody basically on my screen at this point is going to be taking 28,000 damage per second. Uh, and of course, while these are coming down, we're going to be zapping them with our lightning bolts as well, right? So, um, you can see that just between these two powers, we're going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Then we come to our signature power, which of course we're going to activate. It does, uh, it's got a really nice little effect. I love the little uh, water coming up to the top. Of course, that's uh, really good because any lightning damage you do inside that typhoon it does extra damage. Uh, enemies are down to an 80, uh, minus 86% movement speed, which is huge. They're going to be taking 118,000 damage twice, or I'm sorry, 118,000 damage per second. Uh, it lasts for a nice 8 seconds, and it's only got an 80, uh, 30 second cooldown. So, uh, not bad at all. And of course, then we have our Storm Surge, which we can use to freeze enemies. And last but not least, we have Obscuring Fog, which basically just sends out a little fog. As long as we're inside that fog, we get a little boost to our um, damage rating. And of course, we and our allies are visible. So now that you've kind of seen our powers, I can't activate this because there's nobody to, uh, to do, uh, no one to target. But you've seen the rest of them, so you can kind of see. And obviously, one of the great things about Storm, being the goddess of weather she can fly and like I said uh, being able to fly and you see I'm flying over them I'm not activating any powers I'm just flying you can see them taking damage just because of my aura so if I just fly over their heads they're gonna eventually die um, assuming that they can hit me I don't know if they can hit me or not uh, you'll notice our spirit there 
is pretty much not going down anywhere. It's going slightly down. I could probably fly for 25 minutes if I wanted to and not have to worry about running out of spirit. So that is obviously a good, good thing. Uh, so for those of you who don't play Marvel Heroes or don't know, the uh, kind of the orangish numbers are just critical hits. And the red big numbers are brutal strikes. So um, we're going to go ahead and activate some of our powers here so you can kind of see what we're doing here. So you see we did some lightning storms and then we did our crashing hail. And uh, of course when we do, while we're doing this, we are making sure we're not getting surrounded. Because this is going to be, uh, if you're going to have a downfall with storm, it's getting surrounded being attacked a whole bunch at the same time that's when you're that's when you're going to be in trouble of course there's ways to prevent that because uh, you can see every time they try to go through our things they'll have like little uh, icicles on their shoulder blades showing that they have been frozen or uh, slowed I'm sorry um, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and Make our way through the trash here. Activating a few of our powers as we go. And we're going to make our way all the way over to Shocker here and show you guys how easy it is to take out Shocker or any of the other bosses uh, if you play Swarm properly. Uh, another thing with the fly is, you know, instead of having to run around this little conveyor belt, I can just fly right over it. So, uh, talked about how important the flying is. Uh, for these characters who can fly, it's obviously a bonus. Uh, there's nothing wrong with characters that can't fly, it's just they don't get, I don't, uh, uh, they don't get the bonus of being able to fly, obviously. Uh, so, obviously having that bonus can be very good. So we've got some teleporters here. So you notice they teleport right on me. Look at all these numbers flashing on the screen. Just they're not huge, you know, one million, three million, two million damage. But you notice that they are just consistently 35, 50,000, 75,000, 112,000. You know, just constantly taking damage, and uh, you know, eventually they they will die. It's just a matter of how long it takes us to do it. Alright, so Shocker's in the next room. We're going to go ahead and get ready to take on Shocker. So the uh, first thing we like to do is take out the trash because obviously the trash is dangerous because they can swarm you with all their attacks. So I'm in no rush to take out Shocker. He's not going anywhere. We want to dodge anything with the red. And uh, so now what we're going to do is just line him up. Now we, uh, we've frozen them there, and now we're just going to let our damage over time powers do their thing. So, now we just have to stay alive. Uh, we'll let these powers activate. Notice he can't get around the battlefield. He's trying to move. He can't get anywhere. And, um, boom. That's it. Uh, just stay alive. Let our damage over time powers do their thing. And that's how, that's how easy it is, really. Um, hello. What are we doing? Open the chest. Thank you. And that's uh, that's pretty much modus operandi for all the bosses. Um, we will go ahead and do another one. Let's go after Taskmaster. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Octopus. Sure. Hope we can get in by ourselves. Uh, yes, it does look like we got in by ourselves. Well, that's good. So we will... Uh, We will go ahead and kill a few of these yahoos along the way. Just look at all these uh, critical brutal strikes along the way. Again, there's not huge, awesome damage, overwhelming. There's a nice 120 or 199,000 one. Um, yeah, obviously, if we can get these big numbers, we want the big numbers, but we don't have any power that's going to give us huge 5 million in one shot. There's 225,000. Um, yeah, we just constantly do damage over time, and all you have to do is storm, is stay alive, and not be swarmed. There was a whole bunch of brutal strikes right there. It was awesome. Your business, 
All right, let's go take out uh, Dr. Octopus in here in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and take these guys out. Just so you guys can see uh, the process here. See how it's still this guy coming. Notice all the frost on his shoulder blades that are on his upper torso. That uh, means he's been snowed. So, uh, all right, first thing we're going to do is just freeze him right off the bat. Put a typhoon on his head. We get into a better position we're not under attack. And we're just going to start covering some of the different areas with our attacks. And uh, we're ready to freeze you again, buddy. Um, okay, can you get an attack before I freeze you again? Um, or should I just let that... Yeah, I was going to say. I'm just going to let it uh, kill you. Next um, time I less advanced merciful. amulet of Amagato. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. So you see, um, took a little bit of damage, and I mean a little Your bit, but like nothing but very dangerous at this point. We'll go ahead and do one more here. Let's see if we can get Taskmaster dead here. Um, Pretty much the same process we use for all the other bosses. Just let our uh, damage over time powers just do their thing. Stay alive, stay out of bad situations. Keep activating them when we need to activate them. A lot of critical hits there. Obviously we want the brutal strikes. This week, uh, as uh, as storm was, as I mentioned, we can fly to get out of bad situation, or of course we can just use our Shuriko rush and just get out of a bad situation. If we get into a situation, things that uh, causes very much danger is obviously, as I mentioned, uh, teleporters, uh, somebody that's going to be able to bypass all of our area. Of area of effects. Range characters obviously can be very dangerous to storm as well because they don't need to get to you. Fortunately most of our powers are just gonna, you know, kill them very fast. Um, now that was not fair. I froze him and he wasn't down yet so he didn't get frozen. But that's alright. We're gonna typhoon him. Watch how slow he actually moves in our typhoon. He's trying to get to me, and now I've frozen. And uh, see how, see if he can do anything to me before my freeze is up. One more second. Nope, he's froze. And this should be the end of Taskmaster right here. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I, maybe one more freeze here. There it is. That's it. I don't even need to get the keyboard anymore. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. As I mentioned in our review of the Storm, it's a very easy character to play. You don't need to do specific rotations. You just need to get your area effects out and let them do their job. Well, that's a that's a good start. We're going to go ahead and bring this episode to a close. But we will uh, see you next episode. Thanks so much for watching, folks.